What's good, Bit Rushers? My name's Kyler, and this is Bit Rush Crypto. Bitcoin has kind of reached a critical point where the next several days and what the price does is going to determine the next couple months. We're either going to go back into a bullish trend for the remainder of the summer or trend downwards bearishly for several months. I'm going to talk about both scenarios and if you're looking to trade this market I'm going to also cover key levels that I'm looking for for Bitcoin to move in either direction. If all that sounds good you know what to do. Pound on that thumbs up button, find links below for all of my social media and investment projects, make sure you're subbed to the channel and here we go. All right, so starting out here at the one day chart on Bitcoin, I actually wanna zoom in a little bit and look at the MACD. If you guys missed my last video where I was kind of talking about having a plan for a bearish market or a bear trend, the reason why I'm kind of feeling a little bit bearish right now, even though I'm super bullish on Bitcoin and price long term, is that we've had this continued downtrend on the MACD here, um, starting from, you know, right here about in the middle of February and now com coming down to the most recent high of June 17th. If we can break above this, um, you know, trend here with our MACD lines and hold above that, I think we can start to get bullish again. So that's the first thing I'm looking for is kind of this level here on the MACD to switch back over for the blue line to go back over the orange. And then for us to stay above this line as far as a trend. However, it's not all about momentum. And, you know, the amount of people buying or selling, what we also need is for the actual price to move. So even if we manage to break above that trend line here on the MACD, we still need to look at several key areas on the price. Just zooming in a little bit here, we can see I've put that same matching trend line basically here from that point in down and we need to break above that guys on the price action as well which currently is about 35,000 now in a few days um, if we continue to kind of go sideways here that will be much lower around 33 so the good news is that the longer we go sideways here the easier it will be for us to maintain a level above that trend line okay however if we enter into what i call kind of this red box here it's you know anything below about 28.8 and that could go as low as 24,000 guys even possibly a little bit lower down to like 23.5 i would almost say is the very bottom here where then we start to see um the previous major resistance points from the beginning of the bull run here we don't want to drop below that here at about 28.5. If we lose 28.5 as support, as I mentioned, we're probably dropping into this channel here and the next bottom is around 24.23. So that's our bearish scenario, guys, if we continue to the end and then drop down into that. I don't see us going much lower than that. However, if we get into this kind of red danger zone territory, we'll have to do another analysis at that point. If you guys are looking to short uh, maybe something good there if we break below about 28.5 now enough of that bearish nonsense let's get into a bullish scenario what are we looking for here bulls we need to regain the market so there's lots of things we need to do to switch bullish again as i mentioned we need to kind of get above this trend line both on the macd and on um, just the actual price chart if we can start to bounce off of that and use it as support instead of resistance, right? We're flipping that resistance into support. I'll then become, um, you know, basically bullish on the market again. Right now, I'm still a bull. I'm just feeling a little bit bearish with the way that the market is trending. So we do need to get into that, guys. We need to get into that territory um, above this line and start bouncing off that line as support somewhere in the 35 to 33 range, depending on when that happens. 
happens if we come all the way out into you know possibly the middle of july you're looking at only about thirty three thousand. so depending on how long we go sideways here again it's going to get easier for us as um, that trend line continues the next thing we really want to take a look at guys here is the 200 day moving average which is that blue line a lot of people look to that as the main signal on bullish or bearish as anything below this line here is basically a bearish move so we need to get back over the blue line again as we have put in lower prices here and we're trending sideways at these lower ranges it does drop the average so the average line here is going to start to come down and hopefully make it a little bit easier for us to break back above that and hold that line as well and hopefully bounce off that as support currently that line also marks up with another key um, area of support and resistance here that i've boxed out with this green box surrounded by yellow we can see right here previously offered us resistance at about 41,000 several times earlier here in january and then again in february and then when we did break through it finally we were in it for a little while but then we actually bounced off the top of that box here at about 47 and again here we broke into it but we did bounce off at several points there we kind of touched down and wicked to it here and wicked to it again here and now lately this the bottom end of that box has been giving us um, resistance from the top end here guys so um, really the next thing we need to do after we get over the 200 day moving average which could bring us to like the middle of July as I mentioned we bring us both over that trend line and over um, you know the 200 day moving average and that's just kind of maintaining the price here sideways we could then start to be bullish again and if we break above 41 I'll then think that we are in a bull trend again guys so that's the line I'm looking for this line right here 41,000 we need to break above that and maintain above that level once we get above this level and if we can break out of here at about 46 8 47 thousand um, anything above 47 thousand as long as we don't drop back in if we can then bounce off this range i think it's moonshot time okay so um just to give you those are my scenarios for um right now i think we have a lot of resistance to break through we need to break through this line here Next, we're going to need to break through that 200-day moving average, break into our green box, probably range in there for at least a week or two, um, and then hopefully be able to get out of that and bounce off that level here and use that level, like I said, as a support. If we can use that level as a support and bounce off, that's where I think we're ready to make a big move to the upside. So if you guys are keeping capital on the side and you're wondering when is the point that we can redeploy and become ready for a super bullish trend up over 100,000, I think that's the mark right here, about 47,000 guys. That's what I'm looking for right in this range. Um, so that's basically it on my analysis of the price right now. I do think we're going to continue to kind of go sideways here into the, you know, end of this little trend line we have to break it one way or another either we're going to continue to go down and drop into this red box or we're just going to sideways and move out of it just basically you know moving sideways um and breaking that trend and then we can look to um, use some of these other lines and establish them as new support for us so a lot a lot a lot of uh, resistance there guys this is going to be an uphill battle to say the least the good news is we are starting to see lots of accumulation at these levels. The lower we go, the more the whales buy in. The longtime OGs that took profit are starting to buy back in a little bit. You guaranteed because these are the levels, guys, that we began um, selling off right here. So where we're seeing right now from 28 into the 30 range, even into 40, that was a few months ago, you have to think this was almost like impossible like everyone was saying oh it's going to 20 it's going to 30 it's going to 40 and um the majority mainstream um you know just financial people stock people financial institutes investors they all thought we were all crazy this was impossible we did the impossible guys the level we're at right here in 30,000 
was said to be impossible, right? From like $6,000 earlier this year, now to holding at $30,000 is still pretty amazing. It's still pretty bullish scenario. Just because we lost 40, 50% here from our previous all time highs does not mean we're not going to continue to trend upwards. So, um, you know, I'm long term bullish, guys. I think stock to flow model, even if we break below it a little bit, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just an estimate of you know by about this date we're going to be at about this price based on these models there is room for you know either direction we can be above it we've seen lots of times we've been way above the stock to flow model so why not why can't we have a time that we're below the stock to flow model and still hold true it's not a big thing it doesn't mean the model is broken or anything guys if we come back down and touch these levels the model is still true um, we're still going to bounce if we start getting into this red zone and drop below that at that point, we'd need to reconsider everything we know about Bitcoin. However, until that happens, I'm remaining bullish. I think we're going to trend sideways, break back up into this green box here, and that's when I'm going to turn back on my bullish trend, guys. That's when I'm going to begin to start longing again. And if we can break out of this, it's all in, guys. If we break out of that 46.5, 48 range get above 47 hold 47 i'm going all in again we're going 150k 200k sky's the limit moon time let's go again just to recap guys we are at a critical point in the history of bitcoin the next several weeks are going to determine what happens over the next several months with the price action we need to break above this trend line here and hold above about 35,000 just to remain neutral if we drop below 28 it looks like we're going down if we can get above 41,000 it's bullish time again okay guys so that's everything for today's video my quick price analysis for the next couple weeks here hope you guys enjoyed it giving you both scenarios the levels i'm looking at and if you guys are looking to trade with a little bit of leverage you can find a link below where you'll get a couple thousand dollars in bonuses it's definitely not for beginners and if you are a beginner looking to leverage trade i do have a tutorial that will be linked below and also popping above now but you can put it on minimum leverage like 1x 1.5x 2x or even do like paper trading to get your feet under yourself to learn a little bit it is a powerful tool it can be used for great good and great gains but you can also wreck yourself and get liquidated and lose your entire account so definitely only recommended for experts guys but just looking to give you these levels here because i know everyone in the market is kind of you know biting their fingernails watching the market what are we doing where are we at what are our possibilities so i just want to give you guys my best market analysis what i see what i'm looking for and what may come here in the next couple of weeks Again, if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, throw it on social media, or share it with a friend or family member. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you're subbed to the channel. Members only gets you a couple extra perks. Happy crypto, and let's get that coin.